Venom's first trailer has been out for quite a while now, however, as this is the first time Venom is getting a movie of his own and not being shoved in a movie with 3,856 other villains, I guess we should definitely talk about the trailer and break it down a little bit for all of you fans. I'm Eddie Brock. I'm a reporter. In the very first scene of the trailer, Brock is stopping in front of what looks like a prison and given how we now heard rumors of Woody Hurlson playing the serial killer or henchman who hosts the evil symbiote known as Carnage, it would make a lot of sense for Eddie Brock the photojournalist to be covering a very well known serial killer of his world from the prison. I always seem to find myself questioning something the government may not be looking at. I found something really bad. And I have been... Petty. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Taken. We then see a YOLO symbiote, which has to be Scream, and as we all know from the comics, Scream is the YOLO symbiote, and it is supposed to bond with a human female, or female human. So, I guess they transferred that bit of plot directly from the comic to the movie because soon after we see the YOLO symbiote in the Life Foundation facilities, we see a damsel in distress, a woman kept in an unfortunate condition as Eddie goes on to investigate the facilities and the test subjects. Anyways, moving on, now here we actually see what looks like that very unfortunate woman attacking Eddie Brock. So whether this lady already bonded with Scream or not, I believe she's going to be the test subject that ultimately bonds with Scream. Look around at the world, what do you see? The first shots we see are the three different locations the movie will basically take place in, in my opinion. First we see two big cities of, you know, well-developed areas and later on we definitely see what seems to be an Asian country because there's definitely something written in Mandarin. So this could be either in China or even in Hong Kong. Hell, it could even be South Korea and I could be just some illiterate idiot who doesn't know the difference. A planet on the brink of collapse. Human beings are disposable. But man and symbiote combined. This is a new race, a new species. We then see a test subject hesitant about being bonded with a symbiote, which really looks like Riot from the comics with the black and gray color scheme going for it. However, it doesn't look like things went according to plan as he was obviously not strong enough to be bonding with Riot. Or maybe Riot just ate the man. Who knows? Also, guys, another thing, uh, while we are looking at this person kinda having a very minor seizure here, we see a woman, well, a part of the face of a woman behind Riz Ahmed C. Drake. I don't really know about you guys, but these glasses that we barely see here in the background definitely belongs to the same women from the first Venom trailer who reached out to Eddie Brock for help with the Life Foundation issues. A higher life form. What do you want from me? You will find out. I'm so sorry. We cannot just hurt people. Here we actually see Eddie Brock in some kind of an emergency room losing all kinds of shit. But why is that? Why is he freaking out so much? I mean, I get it, he's going through Venom's torturous transformation, but why is he freaking out? I mean, why is he throwing a tantrum? So, we have a theory about this too, because this appears to be an MRI machine, which obviously uses wavelengths and sound waves to figure out the health of the liver and the body of the patient. And Eddie Brock is obviously not feeling too good when he got bonded with Venom, so he went to the doctors to get himself checked out. But we all know the Venom and all the other symbiotes are really, really, you know, sensitive towards sound attacks and heat attacks. So what happened here is the fact 
that when he was getting an MRI, it triggered the sound waves and it completely triggered Venom. It was weakening him and thus Eddie was getting tortured as well and he was throwing a tantrum. Eddie is then trying to tell him, him being Venom, that they just can't go hurting people. So that's basically him telling us that Venom will not exactly be a superhero but rather an anti-hero who is just going to be under the borderline of becoming a villain. Look into my eyes, Eddie. The way I see it. We can do whatever we want. Do we have a deal? Eyes, lungs, pancreas, so many snacks for a little time. And right here in this scene, we actually see Venom emerging from the shoulders of Eddie Brock and actually talking to him. This is actually quite the reference to the comics because we've actually seen multiple times in the comics Venom emerging from the shoulder of its host and talking to its host. So this is a direct reference to the comics. So I'm really happy that the directors are actually trying pretty hard to stay comic accurate. Now folks, Venom in his full form though seems to be huge, towering over the likes of an average man, which is actually way more comic accurate than the Venom we saw in Spider-Man 3 back in 2007. However, there's no spider symbol on the chest of Venom, which was also explained by the director, according to him, as the origin story of this Venom has nothing to do with Spider-Man, there's no point of putting the spider symbol on Venom's chest in this case which also falls in line with the Ultimate Spider-Man comic book series version of Venom, who also doesn't have any spider logo or symbol. That power, it's not completely awful. You have no idea how much you're scaring me right now. Eddie, cooperate. And you just might survive. Guys, you do not want to do this, trust me. Anyways, and later on in the scream fight scene right here, we also see a marketplace of what looks like a suburban area in Asia. So the symbiotes look like they crash landed all over the planet, all over the place, and there was no real planning behind them. We'll always come at a cost. Now guys, towards the end of the trailer right here, we see a full reveal of Riot, the symbiote we saw trying to forcibly bond with the test subject prior to the scene. However, our theory seems to be holding up perfectly that the test subject wasn't strong enough to, you know, bond with Riot as it is then shown to be bonded with none other than Carlton Drake or Riz Ahmed. Oh, and by the way, we definitely see a couple of shots of Venom and then Venom and Riot fighting with a very suspicious looking space shuttle in the back. Here, right here in the scene again, we definitely see another space shuttle or the same one from a closer angle. What we find out here is that these spaceships are definitely properties of Life Foundation. Guys, we here at Fanverse definitely have a theory on what that means, but you guys better hit the bell icon right away because all the Venom theories and possible leaked plot lines that we already have our hands on will actually be discussed on a latter video. That will be up very shortly in this channel, by the way. So please hit the bell icon because I know you wouldn't want to miss all of this. And guys, from what we see briefly in the trailer, Riot seems to be much stronger than Venom as he's seen totally manhandling Eddie Brock's Venom. This was later confirmed by the director too as he mentioned that Venom is kind of a weakling if compared to the Riot, at least in the movies. But even if we count Carnage, Riot, and Scream who are confirmed to be in the films, there are three more symbiotes that we know nothing about in this movie at least. Uh, there was no mention or hint of Lasher, Agony, and Phage and they were completely left out of the trailer and maybe perhaps the movie too. We will eat both your arms and then both of your legs and then we will eat your face right off your head. You will be this armless. Legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a turd in the wind. What the hell are you? We are Venom. Oh, 
have. I have a parasite. Yeah. Name is Chen. And guys, from the very last scene of the trailer, I guess we learned that Venom actually eats people. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the conclusion of another video on your favorite YouTube channel, Fanverse. If I sound a little weird or bad, if you didn't really think I was really very enthusiastic doing this video, it's mostly because I'm very sick and I'm still, you know, kind of recovering from a horrible, horrible chest cold and fever. So lay off of me for the regular uploads, but hey, I'm back now and I'm feeling a lot better and maybe, you know, I'll be fully recovered when we come back. But till then, don't forget to like this video, share it with all of your friends and hit the bell icon because there is plenty more to come from this channel. And with that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.